Hello, I'm on the canal again and fishing for perch again. In fact, more than half my sessions this year to date have been devoted to canal perch. So I think that says a lot about where my heart is at the moment. I really enjoy perch fishing and I love to catch uh, better than average fish. There's something wonderful about a, a perch, particularly when its fins go up and you pose for the photograph. They really do look stunning fish. I'm fishing dead baits, a gudgeon tail on one rod and a gudgeon head section on the other. And I've just had a run, in fact I had a fish on, it came out, the hook came out as I struck into the fish. But at least that's encouraging. I know there's fish out there. I've been baiting up with brown crumb and dead maggots. That brings the small fish in, also brings the big fish in as well of course. And then they'll pick up the, uh, the dead bait. That's the theory. Let's see if we can put it into practice. I think I could have one on here. There's some movement on the rod top, the, the tip. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to strike. I think. Yep, yeah, got one on. There it goes. Oh, it's a nice fish. Aren't they all though? It's pulling lovely. I hope it's uh, it's hooked properly. Oh. It's an eel. Fancy that. It's a nice fish as well. Oh. Funny enough, I thought about eel fishing on this section. Oh. It's a good. Uh, Good fish. Oh, come on. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's a nice fish. Well, that was great. I uh, landed the fish. In fact, I only said to my wife the other day, I haven't caught a personal best this year, and that was my first PB. In all fairness though, I haven't had many big eels before, and so uh, it's not difficult to break a PB when you haven't caught many uh, other species. But I'm really happy to uh, catch that. And as I'd said, um, as I was playing the fish, I had actually thought about coming down here to do some uh, eel sessions Although I'll probably do that and, uh, and blank. That's fishing for you, isn't it? Mind you, talking to my wife, um, she's just washed all my uh, fishing gear, fleece suit and uh, fleece top. Lovely, fresh, clean on today. And uh, of course, I've caught an eel. And you guess what? Covered in slime. So when I tell my wife I caught an eel, the first thing she will say is, did you get slime all over you? She doesn't fish herself, but she, uh, she knows enough about fishing to know that eels equals slime. But I'm certainly a happy bunny and uh, pleased with that, uh, that fish. I've still got about uh, half an hour left of uh, daylight, of course, fishing for uh, perch. I'm sort of inclined to carry on into dark, but I'm not going to do that because I have really got the gear to fish for perch, not for eels. So if I could catch a perch, I think that would be a bonus at this stage. Day number two, or session number two. And I've got a fish on here. If you can 
can hear the uh, bite alarm there. I'm ready to strike in a moment. There you go, yes. Oh, would you believe it? It's another eel. It's only a small one this time though. Just a baby. I think I definitely need to come back here with the, uh, the eel gear, for sure. Just a small one, certainly well less than a pound. I uh, landed it, just a small eel, as I said, when I was about to net it, certainly uh, well below a pound. But it's definitely got me thinking for this particular stretch. That's the second eel that I've had now um, on consecutive sessions. and. It is a stretch, as I've already said, that I had thought about targeting frills before. And having caught two, I think there's a, there's a very good chance that, particularly as we move on now into the summer and I do some eel sessions, that I do actually come back here and uh, give it a, a good shot, um, fishing specifically for eels. Probably catch some good perch. That's fishing for you, isn't it? But uh, certainly the two eels, I'm, I'm very pleased to uh, to catch those, even though I am going for perch. Come to the end of my third and final session of the week. I've had no fish so far and we're now well into dusk and I've perhaps got another half an hour at the most of daylight fishing for perch. I haven't even caught Neil this time round. In fact I haven't had a perch all week, just the two eels. Not that I'm disappointed, I'm, I'm quite pleased actually, uh, particularly as I've hit on a stretch that uh, I will return to eel fish specifically for that species. Um, catching fish that you didn't target, it's always nice and I think it's preferable to catch fish, particularly big fish, of the ones that you set out to hook, but ultimately you will pick up other fish. For example, if you are after barbel, you'll catch chub. If you're after carp, you'll catch bream. And I don't think in any way we should uh, underestimate the value of other fish that come into the equation and it's always nice and preferable to catch your target species but when you do catch others well accept it and uh, enjoy the fish that we that we catch so my final session of the week looks like being a blank unless I uh, do catch something else but who knows but if you're out and about yourself tight lines and don't forget to check my angling journal and uh, get the written articles that go with the videos. Well, right at the very end, I've got a, a fish on, I think. So, yeah, I'm into something. So I didn't blank anyway, as long as I can land it, of course. Oh, it's a, it's a perch as well. Chosen species, right at the very end. Let's hope I can net it. Come on. Brilliant. Oh, there you go. It's not a big one at all. But uh, I got one and that's what counts. Oh, my other rod's going as well now. <laughs>